Thousands of people are expected at the Power and Light District tonight. It's all part of the MLS All-Star Celebrations. Well, the concert's just getting started right now. The game is Wednesday. It's expected to bring a big boost to the Metro's economy, but not as big as anticipated. Shannon Halligan is live at the Power and Light District for us tonight to explain. Well, this concert down here has drawn a lot of attention. If you take a look down here, you can see the main stage area is starting to fill up. They're all here for Macklemore, who's one of the biggest names in music right now. But there is some concern that there might be too many people out here later tonight. I'm giving out free ice cream, free Macklemore tickets. Jimmy Conrad was part of the Kansas City team when they were still the Wizards. He's helping hand out concert tickets before the MLS All-Star Game Wednesday. I was here with the team when the new ownership group came in, for took over for the Hunt family. And they made all these promises about they were going to do this, build a stadium, X, Y, and Z. And we all kind of laugh like there's just no way. This is, they're, they're dreaming too big. And they've actually exceeded my expectations. And what may also exceed expectations is the 13,000 tickets given away for the concert Monday night. The venue only holds 8,000. But for bars like McFadden's near the KC Live stage, that's okay with them. It's not as big as NCAA because we've got the Sprint Center right across the street. And that's... 18,000 people for every basketball game and that lasts four days. Well, this does fill up the downtown hotels and MLS has really done a lot of cool activation. The soccer buzz has attracted families like Anita Mariani's from Olathe who are proud to be a part of all the excitement. More people get a chance to see that it's just as exciting as baseball. It's just as exciting as the other things. And so I think that it's not going to take too long before these type of things happen more often and they'll get quite a big crowd coming in for it. Well, and this tourism does help you. Kansas City gets about $180 million from tourism every year, and that saves the average home about $475 in local taxes, as well as brings some pretty fun acts to the area as well. Live at the Power and Light District, Shannon Halligan, 41 Action News. A lot of people down there. MLS All-Star Events run through Wednesday. You can find a complete list of events by going to our website, kshb.com.